Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style channel and today we are going to talk about daily stock market uh, uh, review. We will do a review for SPY, for S&P, Q's, Dow and Russell 2000. And it works for stocks, ETFs, crypto and options. Uh, I also publish crypto updates every day. Also, yeah, it's it's the easiest easiest trading strategy that works. That's what we are going to talk. That's the difference uh, between simple trading st uh, style that I'm doing on. I'm using Vbull and this one is the easiest easiest and for, for anyone who doesn't want to do complicated and more advanced more advanced more advanced um, uh, technical analysis. This is easiest is that you can just only one indicator okay please subscribe for youtube channel telegram and discord community click like button all other uh, if you want to learn about all other uh, methods all trainings in the in the description all trainings in the description okay let's move to uh, trading view uh, trading view also about trading view setup you can there is the link in the description you can learn how to do setup of the uh, trading view this is the indicators okay you can watch but you can watch the video okay it's easy and it's just one indicator MACD MACD indicator the white line is a signal line and the green and yellow and green and red it's a MACD line right and blue line it's a zero line between bullish and bearish uh, territory okay white white line it's a MACD to uh, MA 200 yellow line MA 20 red line MA 10 and green line MA 5 and script buy and sell okay buy and sell script let's uh, let's move let's move okay still uh, MACD still green right on daily for spy let's yeah we start let's start for for spy daily we still green MACD is still uptrend um, red bar but yes bar still the red bar still far from MA20 MA20 but it touched uh, MA200 MA200 can be resistant right it can bounce from it like I mentioned on Friday, it is uh, it's it is it touched the May two hundred, and it's far from May five, ten, and twenty, and it yeah, definitely it wants to come back and and connect to them. It's an uptrend on bars, on the histogram it's a downtrend. So far on histogram no, no changes for MACD line no. No divergence for MACD line, or only for histogram. Divergence for histogram. Uh, okay. Let's move to four hours. Let's move to four hours. Oh, yeah, four hours. Yeah, it's still bullish. Still bullish for spy, right? No changes. Okay. Let's move to Qs. Qs. Q's a uh, similar story, similar story, right? For Q's, uh, last, last bar uh, still far from MA5, 10 and 20. MA5 did bullish crossover over 5 and 10. Over 10 and 20, that's good bullish signal, but last bar far from MA, MA20 and 5. And no sell a signal yet on, on, on bars. And uh, MACD is still green, still green. The histogram is kind of bearish divergence, but if if market moves up, it can re it can remove this di this divergence. It can remove this divergence, but so far it's still bearish divergence, bearish divergence on daily for Qs, right? <coughs> okay, uh, let's see on four hours. Let's see on four hours. On four hours, yeah, the last bar touched the May 200 and it looks like it wants to bounce from it, but still bullish, still bullish on four hours. Still bullish on four hours and bullish on one hour. 
I'm sorry, bullish on four hours and bullish on daily. But same same situation, last bar far from a May 20, far from May 10 and 20. It definitely wants to connect, or it can go sideways, and, and lines will come back to and will connect to bars. But we'll see. We, we received the red red indicator on, on histogram. It's kind of bearish, right? Start to start to change to bearish direction, but so far no confirmation. Okay, let's move to um, to Dow. Dow on daily, Dow on daily. Red bar, still bullish trend, still bullish trend on uh, on 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 MACD. On MACD, the line is trying to do curve. Histogram has bearish divergence. So you see this point and this point uptrend. On histogram, this point and this point downtrend. Looks like it's a, it's a. Um, it's a still it's a up it's still bullish still bullish on indicators on bars but it was, has bearish divergence on on histogram right bearish diversion on histogram no sell signal on script yet still bullish on daily let's check for hours let's check for hours for hours is still bullish also MACD is still green no connection, it has bearish divergence on, on MACD, right? It has bearish divergence on MACD. Look at it. <clears throat> From this point to this point, it's uptrend. Uh, DAO wants to do correction in four hours. Uh, on MACD, it's a bearish. Same on the, on the histogram, it's a bearish, right? It's a bearish divergence on on DAO, on MACD, bearish divergences. And it's kind of changing direction, it wants to do bearish crossover. It's it's a bearish signal, bearish signal that market wants to change direction to bearish. Still bullish, still, still bullish signal, but market wants to change direction to bearish for DAO. Let's do for Russell 2000 IWM. IWM. Okay, last last two days, last two bars. Friday it was above MA200. Today it closed below MA200. Closed MA, below MA200. Uh, MA20 is still uptrend. MA5 did bullish crossover. Still bullish signal. Similar like for other indexes MACD is still uptrend still uptrend but bearish divergence on the histogram right bearish divergence on histogram right here is we have update up uptrend but on the histogram it's a downtrend okay and the last bar far from May 20 and we remember right it always wants to connect to May 20 bars wants to connect to May 20 bar wants to connect to May 20 Okay, let's check on four hours. Four hours uh, still bullish, bullish signal, bullish signal on MACD. Uh, bullish signal but bearish divergence on MACD, right? Here is the bullish on MACD, it's bearish. Bullish signal and bearish divergence. Last bar far from May 20. May 20 above May 200, that's good, that's positive. May 5, 10, all, all, yeah, all above May 200, that's good, that's positive. But last bar far from May 20. It wants to connect to May 20. Okay, let's do summary, let's do summary, right? All indexes, they still bullish on daily. On 4 hours, they still bullish, but they have all bearish divergence bearish divergence it means they want to change direction to bearish okay that's all yeah that's all for from my review market still bullish on daily and wants to change direction to bearish 
on uh, four hours with bearish divergences. Please read disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, this video for informational and educational purposes only. And thank you for watching Simple Trading Style. And it works for stocks, ETFs, options and crypto. Subscribe for YouTube channel to get all my updates and click like button. Thank you everyone and good luck now. Bye.